Hello my friends, I'd like us to have a look today at the centurion who went to Jesus to ask him to help his servant. Now I think most of us know the story, he was a Roman commander who had a sick servant and he asked Jesus to heal him. Now there are three things we can learn from this man. The first is recognizing authority. Now the reason the centurion went to Jesus for help is because he must have seen Jesus have authority over sickness or at least heard what Jesus had been doing. He also accepted that his own authority had limitations, so he went to the one that had ultimate authority, Jesus Christ. Now we ourselves have to admit that we cannot really do it all, so we have to let God do what we cannot do. Secondly, the centurion understood that words are powerful and they carry weight. He tells Jesus in Matthew chapter 8 verse 8, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof, but just say the word and my servant will be healed. The centurion understood that what Jesus spoke had power. He was humble enough to tell Jesus that he was helpless and he had the faith that Jesus would help. Whether we want to believe it or not guys, our words have power. Proverbs 18.21 clearly states that the tongue has the power of life and death. You can bless someone with a kind word or destroy the spirit with words of hate and anger. And the last thing we can learn from the centurion is that true faith is about believing. Now as far as we know, the centurion was an army commander, he wasn't a minister and he probably didn't go to church. But Jesus tells us that his faith superseded anyone else's. Today it's easy to boast of being faithful because people get to know Christ when we share about him. But should we really be boasting about how many people we bring over to Jesus? I'm just saying that we should always be giving glory to God and not boosting our own egos. Like the centurion, all we need to do is simply believe and let God do the rest. I'm Fab and I pray that God make you humble so if you ever come across a hard situation in your life, you'll be able to put your pride aside and just simply give Him the glory. God bless you friends and keep on believing. Catch you later.